I'm so dedicated to my destination. I'ma get it how I live it with no hesitation. See me making moves and all this training proof so that I'm possible. Hello, this is Michael Lancaster and welcome to the MLXT YouTube channel. We are still in our beginners topic, our beginners theme here, and we're gonna be focused again on shooting. Now we've worked on self shots, basically of how that can help beginners. Now we're gonna take self shots to a different level as we get what I call self shot to shot. Now, right now, I'm just gonna show you the series. Obviously, I'm not even gonna be using a basket as I teach, but right now I have a grip mat in front of me. Now, if you don't have a grip mat, you can have two cones and you wanna be able to land the basketball in between those. And this is the whole concept. If I shoot my basketball and I have nice arc on the ball and I'm working on dropping it to my spot, I shoot the ball normally, I wanna see that basketball land right where I intended it on landing. And so that's what this series is gonna be about. More on that in a second, but let's go ahead and take a look at the teaching. Now last week we focused on self shots. This week we're gonna bring in self shot to shot. Now what we're doing is we're focusing on our ability to get the basketball to land where we wanna land. Now that's a very beginner way of saying it, but that's what shooting is. You're shooting the basketball and you want it to land in the spot where you want it to land. And so if you can control the spot of the floor that it lands, and you can do that consistently, it's getting you used to obviously knowing how to get the basketball to be controlled and get to the same spots each and every time. And so we're building mechanics, we're building consistency. And if I can start shooting the basketball forward when doing that, I'm gonna start making it a little bit more realistic to actually shooting the ball rather than shooting it too high. Now keep in mind, I'm trying to focus on getting the ball, the ball to land in one spot. I don't wanna cheat it. If anything, I wanna over exaggerate the height still of the basketball to see if I can shoot more with power and with range. And so I don't wanna shoot the ball in that type of way because obviously that's not gonna be shooting the ball very realistically. Now, if you notice, I'm trying to make it land right on our kid's grip mat. I'm trying to make the basketball land in a circle. That's our bullseye right now. Now, if you don't have a grip mat, you can just put two cones and try to get the basketball to land in between those cones. Anything you can do to simply mark the spot where you want the ball to land will obviously give you visual feedback of how good you're actually shooting the basketball. Now, if I'm starting back with some distance, I wanna shoot the basketball up and then locate to see how well it actually hits the spot. So I set up, we wanna start nice and low. We wanna work on that fluid shot. We wanna be able to shoot it nice and high. We wanna hold the follow through and then I'll be able to make sure that it actually hits the spot. So I shoot it up, hold the follow through and I was able to hit the five. Now, what I want you to do is as I run to the location of the ball, so I will let you see it hit, now we run to it, and now you can get a real shot. And so what's nice about this one, you have the challenge of the form shot, and then you have the challenge in the realistic, the realism of the actual shot. So as soon as it hits that five, run through it, receive the ball, and then work on your shot and then repeat. This is a fun one. It's a good way to work on your form and your actual shooting and see if you can be consistent with both. Now, as we discussed, your ability as a shooter is basically making your basketball in simplistic terms fall in to the basket. Now, obviously, it's not gonna be straight down in the basket, and so this isn't gonna be exact, but if you have the ability to control, to shoot the basketball, get the ball high in the air, and know that you can make it land in a specific spot, there is translation that will occur of making that ball get to the basket consistently and obviously land in a specific spot. And so self shots is a great way to improve because you're working on accuracy, you can work on arc, you can push your range and see how well you control it. And with some visual aids, which is a little bit better than cones because you're not gonna create a mess, with a visual aid of being able to know that you actually hit it right, now you know where your accuracy is heading. And of course, now, because the basket's still in front of you, you can simply catch the ball and still work on the actual shot anyway. And so self shot to shot is a great one for young players as they get used to making the basketball land in a specific spot and then testing their real life accuracy for a shot following that. So two shot reps for every one shot you take at the basket. And so that's a great one for beginners. And if you really wanna try it out for an advanced player, it will help you as well. Obviously, in that case, you can simply push your range and push your speed of catching that basketball and shooting it quickly. So I hope that was a good one for you. I trust it will help your game if you really give it a shot. And of course, we'll be right back here next week on this YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. Ring the notification bell, like and comment. And of course, I'll see you next week on our next episode 
of our MLXT YouTube channel.